Um, so firstly, can I say welcome to KCC for 2024. Uh, we're excited to, yeah. We're excited that you can be here with us. Um, and we're really looking forward to hearing some talks from Ben and others uh, around um, Jesus being the living water and how he makes a real difference in our lives through that power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to those. And um, yeah, we hope that you have a really good couple of days. I mean, I know that many people have, have been here nearly a whole day now. Um, but we're looking forward to spending some great time together during our celebration evenings tonight and tomorrow night uh, and lots of fellowship as people get to chat just during the downtimes as well. Um, I would like to acknowledge the land on which we meet today um, and pay respect to the traditional owners. Um, we are very grateful uh, that we do get to meet here. Um, yeah, and we're thankful to the, the local leaders and elders um, and their, we pay their respects to the elders past, present and emerging. So, um, yeah, thank you. And we are very grateful to God that these people have cared for these lands for generations and that we're able to meet here today. Uh, I'm just going to read a Bible verse which will hopefully work in with what we're doing today or the weekend. It's from John chapter 4. And Jesus said to her, everyone that drinks water from this water hole will never get thirsty, sorry, will get thirsty again. But if anyone drinks the water that I give them, they will never get thirsty again. That water will keep coming up inside them like a spring of fresh water and it will help them to live forever. So we look forward to hearing more about that. But I'm going to pray. Father, we thank you that we have the opportunity to gather, together, to grow in our relationship with you. We pray that over these next couple of days, Lord, that you would be drawing us nearer to yourself. We pray for great times of fellowship, I pray for Ben and James and Darren and Edwin and Craig as they share with us over these next couple of days and that you would use them to encourage us and to give the words that you would want them to speak and share with us. And we just pray for a great weekend of fun and fellowship and growing in our knowledge and relationship with you. And we just pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to sing, Ooh, we're sure going to sing, we're going to sing, we are gathering together. That's what we're doing in the name of the Lord Jesus. So let's sing, we are gathering. You're going to stand up or sit down, but do whatever you like, but you're gathering one way or the other.
going to sing it one more time in any language you want, okay? So you can sing it in your own language. We're going to sing it in English, Creole. You got the idea? Okay, here we go. All together in different languages. like you to uh, not just stand up but walk around. We're going to sing, we're going to skip to the next one, we'll go back to that one. We might sing Love is the Key and uh, it's a bit of a tradition that you walk around and bless and say good afternoon brother and sister to all, as many as you can. We'll just keep playing the song so don't worry, it might take a few minutes, that's good. Let's sing Love is the Key. sing one more song together, uh, How Great Is Our God. Let's sing this one together.
Dear God, you are so great, far above the heavens. You are the creator of all things. We praise you today, Lord. We lift your name on high. And we ask you to speak to us through your word and your spirit. Change us, O Lord. Give us new hearts to serve you each day. And we bring our prayer and praise to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So one of the... New, newer things. It has happened before quite a long time ago, but there is going to be some of these workshops happening later today and then also tomorrow afternoon uh, in between the sessions. So we've got Sal and Lucy here who are going to be running those sessions, but I'm going to get Sal just to give a quick brief update about what that might look like. So we'll be um, looking at some scriptures to do with our theme, Living Waters, which is a, a beautiful theme to create some art from. Um, and you'll have the opportunity after our talks um, to meet with some other like-minded artists. So we've got painting, we've got um, dance and drama and songwriting, and you can reflect back um, uh, or communicate those scriptures in a creative way. So we'll have those art workshops happening today, after, after the session today, and then tomorrow from 1 till 5 as well. So stay here in the shed and we'll work out from there. So thank you. As with most events, it's, uh, we know that things are very costly and probably become more costly over time, so we're very grateful to these three organisations, Bush Church Aid, Scripture Union Australia and Wycliffe, um, who helps sponsor this event to make sure that we can run and we don't have to charge people lots and lots of money, um, but it means that we also don't run at a loss. So we're very grateful to these three organisations who this is the second year that they've helped sponsor this event. Um, 
So if you see any of their people, please thank them. So you will, you will see Scripture Union people here and Wycliffe people here and Bush Church Aid people here. Please thank them to say that we are very grateful that they help us to run KCC. And um, I'm going to ask Kathy and Rob are coming up, but you will also know that one of the things we do at KCC is we take up an offering um, every of the four main sessions that we run. And what we do is we give a portion of that money to an organisation that is doing gospel work somewhere in some capacity. And this year we're going to be giving money to Ozil. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you more about that. These guys are. So I'll hand this over to Cathy and welcome the Ozil team. Thank you. There are more of us. Just come to the bookshop or keep coming back to the sessions and you'll meet a few more of us. So we're the Australian Society for Indigenous Languages and our main work is doing Bible translation and scripture engagement with people who speak Indigenous Australian languages. Um, so you can find Aboriginal Bibles in our bookshop. So if you speak an Aboriginal language, maybe you want to read the Bible in your own language, you can come and have a look for those in our bookshop. So the bookshop is over there near the canteen. Or maybe you want to read the Bible on your phone. So you can get an app called Australian Bibles and you can read the Bible in lots of different languages in that app. You can choose the language. I'm going to show you a video. And you can also read some in the Uversion app and you can get audio to listen in the Five Fish app. So you can look for those in the Play Store or the App Store. Have you heard of the Australian Bibles app? In the Australian Bibles app, you can read and listen to the Bible in lots of languages. Maybe you can find your language. To get the Australian Bibles app on your phone, go to the Play Store or the App Store. The Australian Bibles app looks like this. Find the app in the Play Store and App Store and then install it on your phone. Open the Australian Bibles app and choose the language. Some languages have the Bible or other books like God's Story for the Outback or Songbooks. To read the Bible, click Bible and then choose the book of the Bible and chapter that you want to look at. Some chapters have audio recordings you can listen to. Press the speaker button at the top and then the play button at the bottom. If you want to help putting the Australian Bibles app onto your phone this weekend, you can go to the Ozil Bookstore. And thank you to Stephen Miles from Nolinia for making the video. And if you want to come to our bookshop in Darwin, we're based at Nolinia. Um, so if you're visiting or... Oh, that just got louder for me. Uh, so if you're visiting Darwin or you're coming to Nolinia or you live in Darwin, you can come to the bookshop there. You can also go to the Aboriginal Bibles YouTube page and get some videos in Aboriginal languages. And that's our bookshop. And I think we missed one before. Doesn't matter. Um, Aboriginal Bibles website if you want to look at Aboriginal language Bibles on a computer. Um, we'll give you links to all the different places you can read and listen to things. So I want to introduce my colleague, Rob. Um, so he's actually here with BCA, but Apart from KCC, he's volunteering with Ozil this year. Um, so I'll let him share a bit about the work he's doing. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for the introduction. Uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing. I've got a BCA badge for this weekend. Uh, Lisa's my wife. She's also here. She's the first aid lady. So <clears throat> you can see. hopefully you won't see her. Um, so our job uh, this year, we're volunteering with Ozil based in Alice, and uh, we're doing remote distribution. So we're looking at taking the Bible out to the bush, uh, USBs and songbooks and hymn books and all sorts of interesting stuff. I'd love to take some KCC stuff out too. We have, have some very old KCC DVDs uh, in the shop, but uh, it'd be good for people to see and hear the, the music and uh, get in touch a bit more from uh, what's happening up the top end. Uh, we'll be working in multiple language groups. <clears throat> so one of my tasks was to learn John 3.16 in uh, six, six language groups. <clears throat> uh, 
and um, trying to work out how to read that in language. So uh, it can be done, um, but it's very interesting. <clears throat> I have a new respect for people who have more than one or two or even three languages. Uh, well done. It's, um, it's very brain snapping, and I'm only learning one verse from the Bible. Uh, we'll be taking material way out bush to uh, Wapri, uh, Ngangadara, Pitanjara, uh, Aliwara, and Machara. Um, all of the Arundic uh, language groups uh, are covered in our distribution runs. And I notice there's a Walpri Bible um, on, the, on the table there, so <clears throat> uh, stuff that's a bit further south from here. So uh, our number one request would be for prayer. Please pray for us, pray for the folk out in the bush. Uh, Nungalinya has a presence uh, in Alice. We, we did some Old Testament stuff uh, just a few weeks ago. Actually, Emily was here doing, there doing some fantastic stuff with our mob. And um, it's, it's a great blessing to be involved with uh, Ozil and God's Word in the bush. So please do pray for us, pray for Alice Springs. There's big change happening in the centre at the moment and a uh, very uncertain future. So, but God knows the future. <laughs> what did I say? Big change for Oz Hill yeah, in the centre, big time. Yeah, so uh, do pray, and good things happening. So do pray for us. Thank you. So when we take up a collection for Oz Hill, we're going to use that to help provide resources um, in remote areas um, for the expenses that are involved in doing that. So you can keep that in mind when you think about giving. Thank you. <laughs> 